Hey everybody, today is something different for me altogether. What you're looking at right now is the bottom side of my house. Uh, basically, what you see are extremely rotten joists. Um, literally, just panning around here, now you can see a hole to the outside with a horrible end of the joist there and back around this way and this is basically as I said the whole entire underneath side of my house been living here since 2007 for the most part and well it's got issues as you see the uh, the joists are rotten but they are dry rotted believe it or not Although there's a little bit of moisture down here, for the most part, it's uh, it's not what I would consider wet. It's just damp, and we've been doing some work. We've gotten about 18 feet by half of the house, so to speak, redone. And basically the house is a 50 by 30 home, and we're remodeling as we go. The joists, to say the least, is a uh, horrible shape right now. They're 2x8 joists. They were plain standard lumber. The foundation is solid underneath of the home. It, uh, the, the foundation itself is solid. However, the blocking for the home is, well... Here we go, we'll show you the blocking. It's just dry stack blocking, so there you go. See that? And then in certain locations, like right there, it's double stacked blocking that uh, you can see for piers, so to speak. But the piers, they put them eight feet apart in most places, and they didn't bother to... Uh, do any extra blocking in between them. Uh, I'd much rather, if they was going to do pier stacking, they should have done on four foot centers, which is what I'm redoing it at as I go. The far end down there was a bathroom. You can see the pipes. And then over that way, you see the actual... Uh, columns there in the mid well this is about eight foot in from the outside edge those are for the girder beam which if you look over here the girder beam is trash as well as the joist itself in that area um, they've completely rotted on here and the center girder as well as the one on the opposite side of the house so what I'm doing, little by little, is removing this mess and then rebuilding. Now, when I say removing, I mean removing. We're taking joists, the rotten flooring above it, and everything above it out, jacking up everything and rebuilding. So, I'm going to show you what it's going to look like when finished in just a moment. And then I'll show you how and what we've been doing. Okay, so what you're looking at over here is the completed side. This was once a bedroom area that looked almost, well, it did look exactly like what you just seen on the other side. And we've put new joists in and we changed this bedroom over to bathroom. That's why you see the plumbing. We've not insulated the water lines just yet. We're using PVC piping uh, and basically the, the white PVC for the drain lines. Um, more or less, as you see there, uh, from a corner over to the first pier there, four foot, and then we've got a double pier right there, which is actually uh, at eight foot 
and then this room was actually 10 feet long. Now what we've done is put in a new girder beam over here. As you see, that's at about seven and a half foot in from the outside wall. And then above it, we've got joist blocking to keep the joist from basically uh, jumping around on us, twisting and turning. We used Advantech flooring on it. And then right there's a a little bit of the OSB stuff's wonderful and then of course on top of it we've got our finished flooring in the bathroom which when I'm done with this video I'll show you a, a real completed job of that so then back here as you see there's more piping main three inch stack line there or actually sewer line uh, and then beyond it what you see there is another girder beam that sits underneath of a load-bearing wall and then beyond it about two feet beyond it is actually the center of the house so what we did is we took all of the joists out of this area and started from scratch using a 20-ton bottle jack two of them and uh lifting things up little by little putting things back in place with a sledgehammer and a, and a bunch of screws and nails and you know whatever we had to use to get the job done properly and get it taken care of this lumber that you see is pressure treated so we don't ever have to worry about rot again being an issue and then uh, basically rated to take care of it. It's two by eight lumber and set on 16 inch centers. So from here, what I'm gonna do is actually show you a good picture of what it looks like in our second bathroom area where I'm currently working. All right, everybody, yeah, I'm back with you here in the second bathroom what was the master bathroom which will soon be a, uh, the regular bathroom for the house an eight by eight room and this room is again been ripped completely out from the floor even the uh, sheetrock on the wall for the most part a six mil black plastic for vapor barrier on the exterior walls as well as interior there's a window that will be removed when it's all said and done the uh, flooring itself has been brace blocked for different reasons uh, over next to the wall you'll see this area over here we've got uh, two by eight brace blocking in there in order to have something solid for the uh, Advantech to have to screw down to uh, right up against the wall we've got because the floor used to sit on the OSB that was in here before we jacked up the wall and put in treated lumber underneath of the wall itself that's a uh, three-quarter inch piece of treated lumber under the wall that you see there the wall plate itself then we've got our uh, blocking for the OSB and then this blocking back here is actually to hold the edges of a wall that'll go about right here when it's all said and done that way in order to conceal a fan and a uh, utility cabinet for towels and whatnot and then um, the uh, primary uh, uh, piping for the sewer water has already been put in place in here. And that is the beginning of a um, um, special type of uh, bow vent, I believe is what they refer to it as. Since this wall goes into the ceiling over here, I couldn't put the... Uh, the vent pipe up through so 
with a bow vent you can get away with uh, not putting one in and then you run it a specific way and it goes the opposite way and it allows you to get away with it with no problem and then down through there there's the entrance for the uh, shower again and then on the opposite side I've got to finish it on out over that way and there's one of our jacks that we've used in order to jack this mess up where it belongs in order to get it right and then um, down over there is where I shot the first part of the video lots of broken block you get to busy with the the 20 ton jack and it'll break them for you if you're not real careful there's the end of the sewer pipe that I'll be cutting off it's capped right now I'll be cutting it to put in the stack for the bathroom here uh, when I finish the piping up I'll be doing that after I put the OSB back on the floor in here um, and then again more blocking I'm a firm believer of making sure that the toilet sits flat and level and basically this platform between these two joists is where the um, the toilet will sit in the end um, it'll be 12 12 and a half inches off of the unfinished wall out this direction toward me and over that way is the doorway now what you're seeing right there that right at the doorway there that's a beam that sits underneath of a wall that goes from the outside wall all the way into the inside wall when it's all finished and done the beam really wasn't necessary as far as structural however it uh, was actually needed in order to make everything work right for me there's another one of the two jacks that we've used uh, we use the ones cheapies from down at uh, Harbor Freight cost me 40 bucks a piece and they're worth every cent of it um, so again we've got over this way the uh, the beam girder beam here and then again there's one on the opposite side of this wall this is where my uh, bath shower tub combo is going to go and then the vanity goes over here so then uh, the other three inch stack line is on the opposite side of it over there that's going to be a an actual uh, pantry on the opposite side of that when it's all said and done and from here uh, this is basically another beam right there that was created the uh, the two right here are actually part of the beam that goes across underneath of another wall on the opposite side over there that houses the uh, water closet that you'll see shortly so from here I will uh, get back to you in just a few minutes with or a few seconds with the other um, area that's uh, been done the finished product of all of the hard labor all right everybody here is the finished product this was once looking just like the room we just came out of this is uh, still a little bit under construction as far as the electrical panel over there and we've uh, actually got our washer and dryer in here washer at the bottom dryer uh, toilet and vanity and mirror and everything normal stuff there's one of those cabinets like I was telling you I'll put in the other one will look very similar to that and then back over this way poor place is uh, actually my water closet we have a well system here so I have to have a uh, water filter there as well as the hot water heater and the cold water uh, storage tank and uh, basically on the opposite side of that wall right there is where the pantry is going to be so anyway i thought i would uh just show you a little bit about what's going on here and uh see if i can keep y'all filled in a little bit as we go till next time talk to you later